G'day guys, welcome to lower bracket round 3 for the 2v2 World at War tournament. To see the last chance of these two teams, 5TA from Russia, Tedesa with Britcoms, Connect Tiger with Soviets, and on the Axis, Omega CLS, Liam, and Simus has dual Japan, interesting play, both. Oh no, Liam's from Canada, Simus from USA. And Liam with an Assault Squad. Simus going Assault Squad in singles, I'm guessing, as Japan. In the center we have Koenigstag going in Assault Squad. And left uh, Tedessa sending so much, so much Assault Squad troops down the center mid. It looks like Omega CLS is going to get to the cover on their side sooner. And be able to shoot in an ambush position. Koenigstag make it, caught with his pants down. Liam already taking out the grenade, ready to throw at the incoming forces and will take none but they're all awkwardly standing around not firing back and getting shot up. Simon's also coming into the fray flanking with his grenades and that was a total wreckage in the center by Omega CLS dispatching Koenig's Tiger. Uh, only two guys left but at the expense of all the flags. Wow. Look at the flag points. <laughs> Every single flag is going to fight here except the center. Tedessa pushing up very strong using this cover and gonna grenade out Liam with the nicely placed grenade takes out two and will this will yeah will basically own the left side on the right though uh, we have Koenix Tiger capping with just two guys one single each and I guess that's the that's what that's why people do send one guys at least one guy to the flanks is you could get a free flag as he just did there he evaded getting killed just in time to cap that point and who knows that may be the deciding factor later in the game 199 so more reinforcements though coming from Koenig's Tiger Simon is going to try pushing out look he will he's definitely got the numbers on him on the western a few single reinforcements by Koenig's Tiger it's all one on one at this stage that will decide who gets this flag and wow this guy is a bad shot not one bullet has hit this guy and he's going to try to aim at the further guy having a bit more luck Simon is also sending a few more singles oh that's a full recruit squad coming in Liam also sending a recruit squad they've got a bit of a strategy going with their bias both of them doing the exact same thing coming to the stone wall going to try to dispatch this one guy another guy at the background and I'd like to also say interesting choice by Tedessa first person to choose British Commonwealth in this tournament that'll be interesting to see how they go not really known for their 2v2 prowess due to their I guess very uh, very light vehicle orientated and not much uh, not much variety in terms of heavies later on to support in a 2v2 Connect Stagger now rooting Samus out with the grenades one by one Samus reinforcements of a recruit squad once again coming in also it might be the same one and now the contest, contested flag is here. They swapped a bit of flags. It's actually in the mid left to the mid center. I don't know. I think uh, Koenig's like may have this. Better quality troops, but a lot more. Simus actually has two recruit squads. Okay, it's two. Okay, so interesting. Uh, <laughs> first buy. All the kind of unfortunately with Italy. In this map is called Italy, by the way, by Sahinko. Uh, moving in place from spawn to the left. We'll get you killed. So you need to actually buy another guy to replace the guy that will get killed by that stone wall when he walks on it. A little bit of a fact which has annoyed me immensely in my games. Simon's approaching with another recruit squad. Um, I think that was the same one in the backfield actually, but still. Two recruit squads as Japan, interesting. Looks like he's playing China. But he does manage to overwhelm and capture the Southern Western. And that's a pretty big turnaround here from 11-0 5TA lead. It's now going to a four cap perhaps to Omega CLS center. Still looking very strong. A lot of SMGs in cover from Simons and Liam. And the right side, Westerns, is looking strong too. Only shocking with you in the background. <coughs> to Dessel with his own. But here comes the Olicon coming to play. Uh, not, not a hill. That little color change in the terrain is a bit deceptive. I uh, thought there was a bit of a decline, but no. Nope. There's actually a decline here on the roadway. He can waltz down behind in case uh, there is a counter. And he has rain over the right and center. Not firing too much at the center at this stage. I think the stone wall is a bit awkward, as you can see. He just took out his own troop. And what do we have here? Chiha, the most e economical counter to the 20mm. Also, his own Olicon. Uh, Liam has got an Olicon, so Olicon, his own 20mm. Chiha going to try hunt this bugger. Perhaps the Dessa can use that uh, roadway we just saw. Simon's going in very hard and strong. Stonewall also proving a bane to the 
Chi Hart now Oli Khan going down to that roadway to safety perhaps can someone take a shot no the thermals blocking it making it awkward to hit and straight away we have a Bofors 61k and that's interesting <coughs> Chi Hart may not be strong enough to handle the 37mm gun Whereas it can 20 mil. Let's see what happens. Actually, maybe perhaps it can. Oh no, it can't. It definitely can't. 61k has taken out the turret. And that's the problem with going the Chiha. It's susceptible to this. It, it's usually not something you think about fighting this. You just think about countering the 20 millimeter, but that was a good buy. Very good buy. And now this can serve as an infantry killer piece as well. <coughs> That'll be not as good as the 20 millimeter Olicon with its speed and rapid fire but definitely can do the job and take out Chihas and Hagos in the process. Shock infantry still on the outliers. And I think uh, the enemy, the Axis forces have bought the one special point AT infantry call. Both of them, there it is, there's one there, AT rifle. Definitely the choice of one special points for Japan in this tournament. Sometimes they're kamikazes, but SSD definitely losing its trend like in the previous tournaments. I guess it's more more used in 1v1s due to the due to less ability to counter it, less chance of of uh, I guess two players buying a counter. Got uh, the backfield. The home guard is out from Simon's getting the numbers on the enemy and the home guard is out from Liam. A bit slower than his uh, friend Simon's G out. The first tank that was probably well in hindsight after seeing that, would have been the best tank on the field for the time. <coughs> now a bit late, but it doesn't matter. The enemy doesn't really have a counter for that Chihi. Interesting buy. He's gone the uh, three special points. This is a, yeah, three special points. 37 millimeter HE infantry super killing <laughs> unit, killing uh, emplacement unit. This very susceptible to AT rifles, but let's see it go boom, boom, boom. And wreck William's troops. Oh, there, there, there. that was a bit of a danger there. Just recruits though, so it wasn't too bad, but look at it go. Gonna take the high ground here and perhaps camp below the hill for some close 50 action. No, it doesn't. Wow. He was actually going behind the line? I thought the line was like the border. Alright, interesting. <coughs> it did a U turn down the hill and to safety. Look at that speed. And also towing a QF 13. A uh, pretty big uh, weaponry, 76mm QF-13 can pound away and potentially take out tanks, I think, if it hits the right mark. Uh, so in the meanwhile, we have Tedessa fighting for the mid-right. Chihi, Chinu from Liam. We'll try to take out that QF-13, perhaps. It's using the heal now to shoot down. Oh no, it definitely needs to target this Olicon. Olicon now getting repositioned. Chi he, Chi Nu, sorry, not not actually targeting it. 11.25, a good tick up by a Mega CLS. Sent a sneaky cap by a Red Guard. 5TA, uh, definitely not the strongest as the allies. Though they are the favourites in this matchup. Yeah. Playing defensively, I think you can see that uh, compared to the other Russian teams, they like to go the sniper. Well, teams that play Russia, the dual motion snipers. The crew from Tihi, 61k, going back to safety behind that hill. A lot. Oh, bazooka from Koenigsteiger, but it does fall. Massive kill, ex massive explosion as well. Simons won't be happy with that. Using that hill to run up and then just pop out, shoot, and then get killed. Nice sacrifice to Dessa's. Half track has moved all the way to this side to support, and now there's no Chihi here. And have some fun on the top left. I see the Chihi has taken out the Olicon. Nice one by Liam. But now the Chihi is definitely coming in fast. to the drive forward to the center, gonna try to dispatch this annoying 37mm Chinu for a shot. It's gonna be too late as the Tedessa 37mm has gone down to safety, not to just one hill, the second bottom hill here, which is, there's no way unless the Chinu can fire like the Maxim Finland machine gunner one special point. 5TA Tedessa coming into dangerous territory, oh, just a recruit, doesn't matter, oh, nasty hit there. 
So, interesting bite. Chi Heart from Simon's. Oh, he's making the same mistake, I think. This uh, this bugger can take out the Chi Heart. It's got its HE shell loaded, though. Does that AP shells? It's pretty much like a Bofors. So, it can take out the Chi Heart the same. Though, it doesn't want to risk it, I suppose. It's a good, good, uh, safe bet. Home guard on the outlier of the flag, AT Rifle from Liam. Now that's the counter you want versus this vehicle. Something that's hard to spot and can just fire one shot. And the Japanese AT Rifle definitely something you can rely on. Paratroopers in the center from, oh this is this in the left in fact. The center. QF-13 bought by the Dessa probably was actually bought to uh, one day take out the mortar but I'm not sure actually about that, especially on this awkward angle. It's such a deep angle, so perhaps it cannot. And now, in fact, the mortar is actually going to counter all the emplacements of... Wow, what a shot. Does not take out the, <coughs> the 61k? 61k awkwardly coming to the center. This wasn't actually in control, so it's now it is in a bit of a... bit of a hard place. Unless some sniper doing work. So there's lots of targets right now for the mortar to take out. They've got the 61k, the Olicon's down actually. We've got a 6 pounder here, got a QF-13 over here. Uh, yeah, got the sniper. Can even uh, target the hard track, which has felled, I believe. Must have been from the AT. No, it's actually been decrewed. It's, been come, it's come back and may cause issues. And I think potentially the AT rifle has been taken out because it's not around here. QF-13 doing a good job in the center, taking out nearly a whole full assault squad. Some is in the backfield. Coming up with the Chi half for a 50-50 play. Ooh, awkward shot because it can't. Fly. Oh no, it, it actually withstood the shots down the hull and has finished off. Boom. The 37 will be the three special point half track from the Brit comms. The good adventure though, Tedessa using that very well, using the hills to hide. Chi has taken out by the bazooka from Koenigsegg. Look at the bazooka play. This, this one actually is surviving. It's an elite red guard and can be used at another day. Now pushing up with some more troops. He shall consolidate the grip of the western point or western center. As some is trying to take the western with a few recruits. And only a few riflemen holding on Koenigs. Reinforcements coming in. Red Guard SMG, nice grenade, Mortar yet to really make, oh wow, Indian Pattern Carrier? Wow, I didn't see that, damn it, Jesus, holy crap, Indian Pattern Carrier, 150 MP, Tedessa's route, I don't know where he went, but he went over here, he ran over this, and he ran over, he ran over two, Simon's and Liam's Mortar, sorry guys, that's, that was an epic kill, that, Oh, that's a big blow to the allies. Omega CLS losing the key units that will uh, win in the a 5TA type engagement, but definitely Tedessa not showing his is uh, is not um, the one trick pony. Using a light vehicle for a shock surprise rush. 61 take, take us the, takes it to Hargo. Banzai coming in from Simon is going to use the other one to attack the western point. Excuse me. And that one Chiha has been decrewed and has been destroyed by the 61k. This other one gonna try flank it, but perhaps may get just taken out. 61k focused on the infantry behind the wall. Kara's HE shell takes a hit. Still can't dispatch that 61k. Disastrous charge then, no bazookas, no AT rifle from Omega CLS. We've got the Grizzly out from the British Commonwealth, Tedessa. Bit more extra armor than a normal Sherman. Uh, no 50 cal MG in the top. A more rounded armor as well. He's got three special points left too. My son is will struggle to try hold the southern western point. 20 millimeter on the hill. Boom, what's that? Is that the Sherman? Or was it the QF-13? I think it was the Sherman. Yeah, it's the Sherman. Sherman Grizzly. 
take out. It's a very uh, tough position to hit actually. It's got that rock right here. So lucky hit 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 at the first shot. Now it's moving back behind the rock even more. This is again, excuse me. Chiha. So I was uh, holding it back. 61k being a bit safe as well, hiding behind the house. Chini from Simus. Going to try toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Grizzly. Grizzly says no. And we'll back away. I don't e I don't actually know what the engagement will be like versus the two in a head-on encounter. Since the extra armor does help. But uh, I don't know if the extra armor is enough for the Chinu penetration. Oh, I see what Tedes is doing. He doesn't want to risk it because he's got that six-pounder weighing an interesting bait and a very nice one indeed. Because of six-pounder for a shot. Simus reversing. No-go. Chinu has been baited like a chump. She knew. Has been taken out by Tedessa. Six pounder bait. Fantastic play. Grizzly coming up. Not the best infantry support vehicle. And doesn't really have much infantry to help it out. Oh wow, what a fantastic uh, AI AI defense there. Just instant throwback. Fell in his hand, but boom. Did you know, just letting you guys know, did you know you can actually uh, direct and not direct control? Uh, pick up the grenade yourself. So if you have the highlight items, you can see the grenade on the floor, and you can actually right-click on it with your soldier, and then you can get it. You can it basically you can you can hold it, then you can put it back in your inventory and throw it back again later on. Though it's very hard to mark her. So you actually actually never, I've seen it once. I've seen it once in a tournament game, not tournament ladder game. Ladder. It was sausage stab. If anyone could do it, it's sausage stab's marker. He yeah he pretty much did that. Picked up the grenade, threw it back and killed the enemy. It was, just, it was uh, fantastic to watch. Oh, the 18 for one special point proving to, to be white, so proving white so good. It just can shoot down from the hill and take out the heavily armored grizzly. So they do, they definitely needed that. 72 to 25. They are on their last legs at the moment. I'll go. Moving to the east and northern, 20 millimeters still alive. We we'll try and make a push for it. Be quite hard to fight six pounder. Trying to AP decrew that 20 millimeter. 20 millimeter. Oh, it has been decrewed. It tried to return the favor, but no luck. Let's see if these assault squads can help. But there's a lot of uh, infantry from Simon's. Even some S and left infantry. Another mortar bar from Liam. And that really, that, that mortar loss really cost them, that's six special points. And they really needed that. 25 to 77. Indian pattern carrier rush, wow. That was amazing. It's very maneuverable, guys, by the way. It's this bugger here. Oh, it's actually 140 MP. It's a 50 speed, good turning circle. Not the greatest, I guess, weaponry. But, uh, yeah, it's a perfect run over ship <laughs> vehicle. Destruction Derby uh, styles. Half track, 61k. We moved, relocated to the left to just try make a push on this area. And the Hakka can't really fight it either. 20mm is holding though. Nothing to take that out from from uh, <coughs> from 5T8. The mortar from Liam can take out the emplacements. But the push from the center, now the pressure is on half track even coming from flank and maybe even take out the other mortar they really haven't been too good at defending their emplacement and oh the, <laughs> the bazooka hits the sandbag and could not stop it they got a free half track no they don't the half track is burning they get a 50 cal for compensation but really that is no compensation pretty much yeah getting raped and then you get a lollipop for your troubles <laughs> the desert just raped, uh, raped uh, Omega CLS and give him the 50 cal lollipop. Haga has stormed the northern west, northern east, sorry. SNLF uh, coming in to cap that point. So it's making it 2 to 0. But some reservists from Tedessa on the outside of the eastern northern. 91 to 25, still ticking up the majority of cap in the favor of 5T on the other side, and they're looking quite strong. Center 
Bit susceptible though, there is the paratroopers coming in. Also, is that Chiha again? Although, sorry, that's not the Chiha, that's a big boy Chita. Can do well if only they had the mortars. They've lost three mortars, they're just live vehicle rushes. <coughs> nice shot. 61k, felled by the Cheeto. Simon's, I think, yep, Simon's definitely needs a flag and he's going to try to push in. Pepper Scherz in wait. Definitely not the, the worst SMG to go against when you're trying to attack a flag. There's so much ammunition, not much reload time. Just can lay into entire squads charging the field. But Cheeto has been caught with his pants down. Six pounder on the side. Taking a shot, Bazooka as well coming to take a shot. Chiha, Chito defended himself, taking out the Bazooka guy. But eight T grenades are coming. Doesn't matter, six pounder. Oh, Chito's taking out the six pounder, but doesn't matter. Oh, that was close. Nearly a grenade, but I think the engine and the turret. No, maybe not the turret. Why? I guess he. Yeah, I guess it is down because he didn't put any crew in there. The gun's up, we should have one guy in there at least. Okay, maybe he just mistakenly repaired, didn't know, but it's too late. 5 TA win the first game. Omega now has one life. 61k, wow, look at the, do the damage. Indian pattern carrier, Valiant charge, guard sniper, the mysterious and yeah, very slow unit that make that has made a good impact as well. Good game guys, 5 TA win the first game.